Hey, it's Derek with treehugger.com. I had a chance to spend a little time with a couple of Goal Zero products. I really like their products. And I wanted to show you a couple of the features of them, give you a little hands-on demonstration. And I wanted to do this outside today, but the winds out here are crazy. So we're going to be sitting uh, in my office, a little light challenged in here. So the first product is the Goal Zero Sherpa 100. It's a portable power pack. I really like this. Uh, pretty small form factor for the amount of juice that's in there. Sturdily built. Comes with a cable for securing it or hanging it. This can be charged from a wall outlet, say, before you leave home. Takes, let's see, about three hours, they say. Seems accurate from the time that I've tried it. I've predominantly run it on a, off of a solar panel, portable solar panel, which I'll show you later. Plugs in right here. It does come with a, a pretty bright LED task light. Could come in handy. A couple of USB out ports. Uh, this is the state of charge meter here, as well as the on off switch. It does have another 12 volt out that will take this adapter for say 12 volt you know cigarette lighter automobile adapter and then this is a pretty unique feature this is for strictly for charging laptops so it comes with a cable and a variety of tips so say this adapter will fit my Dell laptop plug that on the end and you know plug it in here turn it on charge your laptop I really like that feature The capacity, battery capacity on this is, they say it's 8,800 milliamp hours. That's going to give you quite a few charges. They say 14 charges for a smartphone. Obviously, it depends on the type of smartphone you have. So I'd say anywhere from 10 to 15 charges a smartphone. Uh, for a tablet, it'll get you two to four charges. I think I've gotten uh, three full charges before I actually recharged it. Uh, before I recharge this, another neat feature, I believe this is a, a, an add-on, but they sell a 100 watt AC inverter for the Sherpa. And so for items that you don't want to run off of 12 volt or you don't have the cable for, uh, you, the inverter st st sticks right in there, connects here, screws it on, takes a standard plug. Turn it on, you're good to go. For almost anything that you could plug in within reason uh, to you know the wall outlet, you can use that option instead. The device is pretty small, pretty lightweight. I don't really see a weight on it. I'm thinking about two pounds. Could be wrong. Let's see, doesn't say on there. Um, I took this out for a weekend camping trip. I was doing some reading on my iPad and I was doing a little bit of email communication stuff on my phone. I was taking a bunch of pictures, uh, plugged it in, charges just about as fast from here as it would from an outlet. I really appreciated that. It was, uh, didn't take up much space in my bags at all. Uh, I really think this could be a great addition, especially if you are a photographer or you're a smartphone addict or you like to take your iPad or Kindle or something with you reading. I uh, don't know that this is something you would carry with you every single day. Uh, maybe if you're a heavy user, you could, but uh, certainly a lot of power in a small package. Uh, the other item from Goal Zero is the Nomad 20 folding solar panel. So let's see if we can fit it all on the camera there. This is a 20 watt solar panel. Actually three panels I guess. Uh, folds up pretty small, fairly lightweight. I really enjoy this. Uh, you can uh, charge, let's see where we got here. Here's the 12 volt out, so pretty long cord actually for charging something like the Sherpa. 
It also has a couple of other cables. It has a, a mini solar port. It has a, another solar port so that you can chain several of these, several Gold Zero or solar chargers together. It also has a USB output, uh, puts out, um, so you can charge directly from this. Uh, one of the issues with charging directly from a panel is then you are sort of limited by cloud cover, the position of the sun in the sky, that sort of thing. What I found was finding a nice place to hang this up, support it so the wind, wind wouldn't block it, throw it away, fling it across the yard. There's nice little uh, hall loops to secure it. Um, so I'd put this out in direct sun, um, plug in the Sherpa 100 to it, uh, charge, they say it's 10 to 20 hours in the sun. I live in southern New Mexico. We got a lot of sun, a lot of clear skies. Uh, I'd say, yeah, 10, 10 hours is probably what it took. I didn't time it, but, you know, easily in a day, especially if you're talking long days like in the summer. Uh, what else about this? You know, it's fair, pretty sturdy, uh, you know, packaging. So I got a little magnetic clasp. Hold it all together, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. You know, one one little drawback is, you know, I, I'm probably not going to use all of these cords. Uh, as far as I can tell, they don't come out. They all kind of come into this power head hub in the corner. So you are stuck with a couple of cords. It's a very small thing now. It's definitely something I can live with. And it's probably a lot better than if you walked out without the cords. So again, this is a 20 watt panel. It, let's see, what does it measure? Mm. So when it's unfolded, it's about 30 and a half, 30 and a half inches. I'm assuming that's uh, from this dimension, from this edge down, uh, about 13 inches wide. It folds up to about eight and a half inches wide by about 13 doesn't weigh much, two and a half pounds they say. Um, could go with you pretty much anywhere. I think this is a really great powerful little charger that could uh, be a great asset to any sort of trip where you just need to charge your GPS, you need to charge your phone, you wanna charge your camera, uh, this'll do it. You know, the hardest thing about it was going out and just readjusting it you know, a couple times a day so that it was tracking the sun, so it was perpendicular to sun so you get the best charge, make sure it's not covered with dust. So those are two great Goal Zero products. Uh, could be a great addition for, you know, emergency prep kit, uh, bug out bag, um, definitely camping and trekking. I don't know that I would take these on a backpacking trip. Uh, the panel, maybe. Although it is quite large, depends what kind of power needs. You might find that there's another Goal Zero panel that's a bit smaller, but this one, especially with these two, if you're doing car camping, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. You could use your car battery to charge your stuff, but you know, with the sun, it's free. It's easy.